Dream, dream daddy. Ah, no, what the fuck? Shit. What's up, everybody? This is Got Garrett, and we are back with a brand new video and we are back playing some more dream daddy a dad dating simulator and we're here at the dad book selection where we can pick from all these beautiful hunkalicious of a dream dad because we are trying to find us a daddy in a sense and yeah so in the last video i actually said at the last part to comment down below which one you think i should go on a date with because all these guys men whatever you want to call them are so lovely but somebody said hey after Matt this uh, this dude right here and I was like yeah yeah I actually like him I uh, like him he's got some pretty cool dreads he has a coffee shop he likes music so I think we should do it so let's message him yeah Matt Sella or whatever his uh, last name was I navigate to Matt's dad books page and type out of the message we'll see what what we'll see what we say hey man great getting to see you at the barbecue we should definitely hang out soon you free later question mark a minute or two later, I hear a ding and see Matt's response. Oh, uh, see, he was reading it, he was thinking about it, yeah. Hey, dude, I'd be so down for that. I'm actually catching a show tonight at the Sound Garden. Wanna come out? Yeah, I like that. I like to watch some music. I think for a moment. What's a Sound Garden? It's a concert venue, but also a band that a lot of people listen to back when it comes, uh, when it was cool to have soul patches. Yeah, hey, Sound Garden was sick. Uh, Black Hole Sun, is that what it was called? Uh, I think that was, uh, please don't hate me if I got it wrong. Oh man, I haven't been to a real concert since Amanda was born. Am I ready for this? Well, I'm thinking another message pops up on the screen. Pub is playing tonight. Cool little indie pop uh, punk rock band out of Canada. Should be a fun one. I didn't know you were allowed to string that many words together to describe a band. Whatever, let's go out of our comfort zone. Yeah, let's go out of the comfort zone and do this. It'd, it'd be fun. Uh, I like going out. It'd be alright. I log off with dad book and think for a second. Wait, when was the last time I went to a concert? I mentally backtrack decades through memories of denim jean jackets and moral panic over teenagers turning to the occult. Oh god. Oh god, I had a mullet back then. Oh god, I thought it was cool. Oh god, other people thought it was cool. I finally remember the strange 80s prog rock I used to listen to and mentally envision all of their airbrush vans in their parking lot man how did anyone survive the 80s the 80s was a pretty uh, interesting time as i was told by my mom and dad so i mean i wasn't there obviously but i can only imagine okay so i haven't been to a concert in a long time what do you even do at a concert now you listen to music you you have the good beer and, uh, i don't know i like craft beer i like craft beer when i'm watching a concert or anything just relaxing i don't know it's cool it's my thing I spend most of the days pacing around the house and thinking about uh, my relationship with coolness. I mean, I always thought I was cool, at least relative to a bunch of other dads my age. Dad, what are you doing? I look over and see Amanda at the door, just getting home from school. Anyway, what's up? Amanda, how do I be cool? I need to know how to be cool so I can go to this concert and just blow his freaking socks off. Mm. Let me put it on a pot of coffee first. This is going to be a long night. No, seriously. Matt invited me to a concert and I don't think I've been to one since you were born. Ugh. Yeah, you have. You took me to that one when I was 12, remember? I'm suddenly overwhelmed by a memory of a sea of screaming preteens. Oh, oh God, I tried so hard to forget. Oh no, it's the memories are rushing back in. It's all coming to me so fast. Insane. The Justin Bieber concert. I don't know. All them people are pretty cool. The one where I had to camp out with you in line so that you could get a good spot and then you cried and screamed the whole time. Dad, it was so much more than that. I'm not even ashamed to say it. Oh, you're not ashamed? You seem pretty ashamed when I found all those drawings you made of those dancing boys kissing in your trapper keeper. Oh my god. Yeah, well, you didn't even find the good stuff. What else did you draw? Lord. Anyway, you should be all set for the concert. If you remember that, just bring a big glittery sign and cry a lot and you'll fit right in. Well, it's a smaller place and I think Matt mentioned that they're a punk band? Like, DIY? Gutter punk? Thrash? Straight edge? Come on, dad. Give me something to work with here. Hmm. 
Are they post-punk, proto-punk, C-punk, Jeremy punk? What are all these punks right now? I, I just know like, I don't know, like Green Day or something. I don't know. <laughs> What's Jeremy punk? I made that one up to see if I could get away with it. So, hey, we, we knew that. They're not positive hardcore, are they? Uh, he said they're, uh, Canadian punk? Oh, yeah, you'll be fine. Yeah, you yeah, Canadian punk. That's the good stuff, the good punk. Does the idea of Canadian punk seem contradic contradictory to you? I don't see friendship and politeness as core tenets of the punk scene. Well, punk is kind of a big genre that might not be as dangerous as you think it is. It became so much more than just counterculture rebellion. But I'm trying to say, just enjoy the music. That's what I said. Just go there, be there, enjoy the music. Enjoy the company of Matt and you do all right. That's it? I mean, yeah, it's not likely you're going to jump into the mosh pit or anything. Hey, you never know. Uh, myself, I, I, I like to jump in a mosh pit, you know. It'd be all right. To New York Siler and it's, it's pretty good. I like it. Well, that's uh, confronting. And if a strange dude in a set your gold hoodie offers to buy you merch, don't accept it and definitely don't go on a three awful dates with him afterwards where he takes you to a nice rest restaurant and then forgets his wallet literally three times in a row. Literally three times in a row. What? Uh. Never mind. Just have a blast tonight. I got you, Amanda. I show up to a coffee spoon at eight in what I hope is a concert appropriate attire. I see Matt out front locking the door to the shop. Hey, yeah. hey, hey, he said, hey, you made it. Ready for tonight? Yeah, I'm ready to get it going. Well, it's been a while. Yes, of course. I definitely know what I'm talking about. Ready? I was born ready. Uh, I say, well, it's been a while. Ah, man, I gotta admit, I haven't been to a real concert since Pet Rock were cool. I had no idea what I'm in for. Did your uh, daughter make you take her to one of those boy band concerts where everybody holds signs and scream cries? Uh, no, I'd never do that. <laughs> yeah, of course. Uh -oh. I got two lined, uh, lined up next month. I still can't get the glitter out of my car from the last one. Stay strong. Stay strong. It's horrible. Just don't look directly into the boy band's eyes. Or they might just completely laser beam your eyes out. <laughs> I don't know. Oh. But dude, I get to take you to your first concert in a long time. This is going to be awesome. Just hang with me, God Garrett, and you'll be good. This is a scene is support. Wait, this scene is super supportive. It'll be a blast. Quick question. Hey. Shoot. What is scene? <laughs> Matt lets out a tiny laugh. Sorry, sorry. It's just weird because scene can describe a music scene as pertinent to a community of people who like the same genre but can also describe a genre of music no one wants to admit they were into. Matt looks off into the middle distance. He says nothing, but I can tell he's thinking, never again. That's confusing. Uh -huh. You'll get it. The important thing tonight is that you enjoy yourself. Come on, let's head up head to the show. Uh, that's what I'm here for. I want to enjoy myself. Oh! This is nice. We got the jams kicking up in the background right now. Hey, this is going to be a good time. But he says, after waiting a short line to get in, we finally find ourselves in a small venue with a stage at one end and a bar at the other. Most people here are closer to Amanda's age than mine. I suddenly feel very out of place. Hey, don't worry about it. Age is just a number. Just get out there and have fun and enjoy the music. My waning youth is showing. I'm suddenly aware of my mortality. When when were the good years of my life? Will Amanda still love me as we both grow older? Wait, is C-Punk actually a genre? I don't know. Matt, you made it! Oh. <laughs> a younger kid runs up and high fives Matt. Mm. The kid runs off and Matt turns to me shuddering. I get nervous when people surprise high five me. You always got to be on your guard for those surprise high fives. You never know when they're coming. You never know. Me too. Hey. I'm like a small animal. Loud noises and large groups of people frighten me. Well, this is kind of uh, interesting then. I mean, we're at a place with a big group of people. We're at a, a band concert show that has loud music. Interesting. Do you also enjoy curling up in a patch of sunlight to take a nap? Uh -huh. That's my favorite thing to do. Hey, that's the best thing. Oh, I'm just saying like, I love to do that and it's so warm sometimes, but when you see like a cat do it, oh. Adorable, you know, they just get up in a little patch of sunlight and then they just sit there and they're just enjoying the sunlight 
It's amazing. It's so cute. A couple other people notice that Matt's in the crowd and yells, hey, as well. Matt waves and hugs a couple people. He seems really in his element here. Matt turns his attention back to me. I'm so afraid of all these people. Oh, let's go grab a beer. Matt and I line up at the bar in the back where a couple of the older concert goers hangs out. A couple more people notice Matt and tip their drinks at him. Seems like you're a popular guy out here. Ah, uh, yeah, I got to uh, go to a lot of shows. This is really a cool spot. Hey. It's a really bumping, cool, interesting spot. But it's times like these where I realize I can only be charming and funny for about five minutes before I run out of stuff to talk about. Honestly, that's how I feel, too. I mean, I like to talk. I love talking to people. I mean, I love it. But sometimes, again, I feel like Robert sometimes from the other dates. I like to just be quiet and enjoy the silence. No, not silence, but just watching and just being there, the company. You got to have a good mixture and balance between all of those, I feel like. I like to talk to people, but sometimes I just like, I like to chill out. And then I become nearly uh, aware of where my hands are. Okay? And that's there no comfortable place in your mouth for your tongue to rest. Oh God! So he gets like really nervous and he just can't. He gets all clammy. Dot 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 dot. God damn it! Where do I put my tongue? See? Well, I've known you for more than five minutes and still think you're charming and funny. Just you wait. We grab our drinks. This scene uh, seems really friendly. I don't know why people wouldn't want to admit that they listen to it. <laughs> Let's check out the merch. Oh God, who's this dude right over here? Matt and I walk over to a small booth in the corner of the room where a crusty looking teenager guards a selection of shirts and records. He singles me out from across the room and hops up on his chair. Step on up, get your merch right here. I got t-shirts, I got tank tops, I got all the gifts in a quarter dimension. Uh, the centering and concert goers of considerable taste might want you. You! You! <laughs> I gestured myself, my face flushing red. Yes, you, you look like a fella who knows her music. How's about a fine 12-inch long playing vinyl record made and distributed by Pub Canada's premier punk rock outfit of the, um, uh, tally -ho, good sir. Well, see here, fine shopkeeper, your enthusiastic salesmanship has aroused my interest in suspicious and equal parts. How can a consumer of finer goods in life trust your wares to be true of spirit? A fine question from a discerning Patreon. <laughs> what is going on right now? Okay, Pablo, you can give it a rest. The teen hops off his chair and takes a seat. Your friend looks lost, so I figured I'd give him the old razzle-dazzle. How the hell are you, Matt? Day by day, my man. They do that thing where they high-five, but it also turns into a hug, like... that That's what they're doing. That's, that's basically what they're doing. Your mom doing better? She's still single. If you want to be my dad, I can make that, uh, con that connect. And have to deal with you every single day? Fair enough. Who's your bud? Hey. That's Guy Garrett. Thought I'd bring out a concert pal. Pablo leans close to Matt. Is, is Guy Garrett cool? Hmm. Matt, Matt eyes me. I eye him back. <laughs> he cracks a smile. Yeah! Pablo brings me in for a bro hug. My dude! I'm not sure what to say, but give the courtesy two pats on the, on the back as I as is customary in our society for people you don't know super well but still want to be friendly to. Pablo's the total card. Kid plays the hell out of a bass. Yo, some funky bass lines. Hey, that's some pretty cool stuff. Yeah, man. When are we starting our witch house band? You know I'm out of the game. It's a shame. You know Vacant Bell would have slayed. Vacant Bell. That's a great name. <laughs> It'll slay once you start actually making music instead of just printing a bunch of band shirts. We got the sickest logo. While Matt and Pablo talk, I check out the merch. These shirts are really nice. Looks like the opener's coming on. Let's get a spot up close. Hey. Yeah, let's do it. 
Matt and I walk over to the stage where a crowd begins to form. The band walks on a stage and pick up a variety of strange instruments. Is that a harpsichord? The lead singer addresses the crowd. He has a medallion slung behind his back. Hey, what's up, everybody? Oh, <laughs> That was like the worst intro right there. Hey, what's up everybody? We're Jonathan Jones and the Spe Speakeasy Choir. My name's Daniel, let's start the show. <laughs> oh no, these guys. What? <laughs> Without time to respond, the band starts playing the most horrible noise I've ever heard. What is this? Matt doesn't say anything. He just hands me earplugs. Thanks! I put the earplugs in and whatever the hell is assault in my ears gets lost quiet, a lot quieter. For a band this bad, they sure do seem to be having fun. I guess that's what really matters. <laughs> Who's just talking right now in the background? Uh, I thought that might have been like Aaron or Danny in the back or one of them, maybe Vernon or something. I'm not too sure. I, I would assume it would be. I don't know. That would be like a cool thing. Hey. Jesus, did that Celius just break his bow in half? I didn't, I don't get this. The set seems to go on forever. There's no breaks in the songs and I think one of the band members jobs is specifically just to burn poetry on stage. I turned to Matt and tried to start a conversation. So, you got a lot of concerts out here, huh? What? Uh, just drop it. He can't hear me, so I just stop and try to enjoy the music. <laughs> okay, no, this is impossible. How long have they been playing the same song? 10 minutes? 20? A year? Eventually, eventually, the set ends, but only after the drummer sprains his ankle during his saxophone solo. They promised it was part of the act as he was carried off stage crying. God. Matt and I both pull our earplugs out. Man, that was uh, something. I promise, pub is much better. Uh, hopefully it is. I just have a lot of questions that I know I'll never get the answer to. Oh yeah, he sprained his ankle at every show. They were being real about that. Oh shit. Cool, cool on ya, I suppose. Hey. Let's grab another beer. You know, another beer. Matt and I work our way out of the crowd and back to the bar. More and more people file into the concert space as it gets closer to the main act. It's getting kind of crowded here. We grab our beers and try to follow Matt back to our spot, but there are so many people that I have having a hard time keeping up. As I work my way through the throngs of excited concert goers, I realize that I've lost Matt entirely. I stop and look around, see nothing but a sea of hip 20 something. I'm lost. How am I ever going to find Matt here? Where's the exit? Are there even exits? What if I'm trapped in this building forever? Am I going to see my daughter ever again? What if that terrible band gets back on stage? What if suddenly a hand reaches out to grab me? It's Matt! Almost lost you, buddy. Whew, I got really nervous for a second there. You and me both, dude. He takes my hand and leads me back towards the stage. I can feel myself blushing a little. Oh, I'm just like, oh, oh, thanks. Thanks for looking out for me, buddy. We finally settle back into our spots and wait for the band to start. Busy place, huh? Yeah, pub uh, really brings out a crowd. So you go to concerts a lot? Oh yeah, it's one of my absolute favorite things in the world. I think it's one thing to listen to music and connect with it, but when you're in a room full of people connecting with the music just the same way that you are, that's magic. I, I can agree with that. When you're with uh, in a place where it's just the right positive vibes and you know they're supporting the same thing that you're supporting, I feel for that. I feel for that. I suddenly had the urge to pee. Curse this tiny dad bladder. I never heard it put that way. That's really beautiful. Also, I have to pee. Yeah, sounds great. <laughs> yeah, sounds great. <laughs> Hurry up, man. They're about to go on. I squeezed my way out of the crowd towards the restroom. I really should have gone before I left the house, but Amanda was watching beauty videos in the bathroom. She had an eyeliner wig going halfway across her face, which was actually a pretty good look. I'm so proud of her. I make it, I make it to... Uh, 
I make it to the restroom finally, but it's one of those single person restrooms with a line forming outside of it. Oh no. As soon as I finish my business, the band starts. Crap. The people that were initially milling around the venue all crowd up against the stage as Pub plays the first song. How am I ever going to find Matt now? It's going to be insane. Dad tip number 13. Buy quality, not quantity. Wait, is this like a game I'm about to play right now? Everyone's rushing to the main stage to watch Pub play. I'm sure Matt will up, be up there too. Got to find him before I get trampled by all these crowd, crowd all these rowdy youths. Oh, uh, what? Uh, what do I do? Oh no! Oh uh, no! Oh no! I'm getting beat up. This is the part of the game where you should have been hearing a licensed tune. We worked really hard to lock it down for you. I'm sorry, but I'm making a YouTube video. Even got permission to whitelist the song for YouTube and Twitch. I'm sorry! Your systems are seriously broken. Ah, what a bitch. I'm sorry, but I have um I was having a good time. So I'm having a good time though. I love this song too. Song that you're listening to right now. Don't ah! think Get away! Better than risking content ID to you streamers and let's play. What is this song right now? One decree. Please Where is this? The band called Pop and their song DVP. Oh. DVP. What? That's right. The band called Pop and their song called DVP. That's uh the interesting. Song is great and the video is tight. Yes, take it from me. Okay. It's like footage of NES and SNES games with the lyrics added into them. It's really cool, but it's kind of hard to explain right now, but you'll get it, I promise. You should really go check it out. It's okay, really I will go check it out. Please check out the band called Pup and their song DVP. DVP. What is happening? <laughs> but we survived the crowd! But really oh god. <laughs> it's still playing in the background. It says, I'm finally able to work my way through the crowd to where Matt originally was, but he's nowhere to be found. Shoot. Well, I guess I should keep... Look. I bumped into from behind and find myself in the middle of a bunch of youths running around in a circle to the music. I'm in the pit. How do I get out of the pit? Out of nowhere, a youth shoulders himself into me and keeps moving in a circle. Hey! I guess I'm moving in the circle now. I frantically search for a way out, but all I can see is an ocean of use rhythmically slamming into each other. We're in the fucking pit now, so get ready to rumble. Another use slams into me and I lose my balance. I'm about to topple over. This is it. This is how I die. Trampled under the boots of counterculture. Someone grabs my hand. Someone familiar. I look up and see Matt. He pulls me back up onto my feet. Oh. He like brings me back to life. You're wild, dude. Matt throws his arm around me and we jump back into the circle, circle bashing into the use left and right as Pub plays a killer solo. I mean, this is not Pub, but it's because I had to turn on, you know, in the settings where I could be able to play this without licensing issues and all that stuff. It's like he said in the song, it's pretty crap. Is that, that's not Barry, is it? I don't know. I just want, I'm just trying to recognize these voices. I didn't know you messed with the pit. Me neither. I prom hey, I say that, but I'm a killer guy in the pit. I can't believe this. I'm having fun. I'm a little mad that I didn't stretch before physically ac physical activity, but I am having fun. The song ends, and the pit finally dissipates. Everybody cheers on pub. Maybe I only got enough pit energy for one song. <laughs> All right, man. Let's retreat. We'll show these kids how it's done another day. We work our way back to a more comfortable spot in the crowd and enjoy the rest of the show from a safe distance. Pub put on an amazing set and basically had to beg themselves off stage after their encore. With the concert over, the crowd starts making their way to the exit. Hey, I'll meet you outside. Gotta say bye to a couple people. That was fun. That was good. I had a good time. I hang outside of the venue until Matt finally shows up. Hey, man, thanks for waiting. I got you a present. A present? That, that, how, how sweet. Matt hands me the t-shirt I was looking at earlier. Oh, this is pulling on my heartstrings. About to cry. 
Well, thanks, man. So you eyeball, all eyeballing it back if I can talk, eyeballing it back at the merch hey. booth. And I mean, anyone who tears it up at that hard on their first time back to a concert deserves a reward. The youth that will finally accept me, Amanda will love this. I'm never taking this off. I will continually wear it until it's tattered and a little smelly so that I can truly embody punk fashion. Hey, Matt. Hey. Hey, it's Pub. Oh. 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 Wait, this is cool. This is, I think these are actually like real people right here. This is pretty sweet. Hey, dude, didn't realize you were here. I'm so glad I could make it. You guys put on a great show. Thanks. Hey, yeah. Well, see you around. Yeah, those people were like, had to be real people for sure. I know for a fact. I definitely will look up your music and it's gonna be sweet. I'm sorry I couldn't be listening in this video, but I wish I could. Wait, you know Pup? Oh yeah, met him a couple of times when they first started touring. Good kids. Whoa. Hey. Come on, let's grab some dinner food. I suddenly realized just how hungry I am. Man, mosh pits take a lot out of you. They actually do. Always after the shows, you go eat something good. You gotta eat something that gets the energy back. Man, I walk to a tiny little diner with a cute neon sign. We tear into some bacon and eggs in a corner booth. Ooh, this reminds me of some uh, Waffle House. If you've never been there, there's uh, the all-star platter. It has the waffle, it has the eggs, it's got the bacon, the grits, it's got everything, the toast. Ooh, so amazing. If you go to Waffle House, definitely a good decision to get. So there I am in the pit trying to explain to the face tattoo guy that I didn't mean to elbow him in the face tattoo, but he's already seen red. Not from the tattoo, which coincidentally was red. He's lumbering toward me and there's nowhere to go. It's the end for me, right? Then out of nowhere I get this idea. I just lean back and spread my arms and just like that, I'm crowd surfing away from him in slow motion, just like slow motion. That was some Matrix looking stuff. You should have seen the look on his face. He was like, oh God, where is he going? The, the crowd is picking him up. <laughs> and then the look on his face was priceless. Hey. Bought him a beer afterwards and we were cool. We still follow each other on social media. He has beautiful kids. Nice. Glad you guys worked it out. Hey. Yeah, man, just got, goes to show you that punk's not dead. It just drives a minivan and has to hire a babysitter. So how did you get to see all those amazing concerts? Hey. Oh, I used to tour in a band. We were small, but it got us to travel all around the states. Whoa. Hey. Yeah, I mean, we were poor and we had to scrape a lot together just to survive, but I wouldn't trade those experiences for anything. Yeah, this reminds me of one of my friends, uh, Zach. Yeah, I don't know. He just because I would go support him and his band. It was so cool. Oh, good memories. I would, it was like a it was like a hard rock band, and there was like mosh pits and stuff like that. And it was just so cool. And I, it was amazing. I honestly thought like they were going to be like the next big band, but they had you know they just went their separate ways. They had they had other interests, different things. Hey. But yeah, that's how I knew a bunch of those people at the show. Music like this builds an amazing community, especially in town like this. Just a lot of positive energy and good vibes. That's what it's about. Hey, like my boy Jacob says, positive vibes all 2017. PVA 2017. Write it on the wall somewhere. Put it where someone can see it. Spread the word. Spread the positivity. That's the best way to say it. I got that feeling. Plenty of friendly people, especially that Pablo kid. Oh. Oh man, everybody loves Pablo. His mom's been raising him on her own, and you can tell that it's been tough on both of them. I know he looks up to me, so I try to help him out whenever I can. That's that's nice of you, Matt. That's good stuff. Hey. Thanks. A single parents just really have to look out for one another. How's Carmen Sita? She says she wants to learn the drums. Yeah, see, I want to learn the drums. Can you teach me how to play the drums? It would be amazing. Like when you see like a drummer. Like, you know, just in the, like, the, just the groove and it just keeps going. I don't know if this is correct or what I'm doing with my hands, but when you see him just go on an onslaught of drum blasting sounds, like, do, 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 oh, that's the good stuff. Oh boy. It'll be loud and I need to take a lot of aspirin, but I'll manage. Can't really blame her. I mean, you was in a band, so what you expect? I'm suddenly very grateful that all my daughter's hobbies are super quiet. Photography collaging whatever it is that she does on the internet thanks Amanda <laughs> I'm trying to be supportive of Carmen Cita's rebellious phase but I guess that kind of defeats the purpose of it doesn't it I think it would be good daddy slash daughter activity to find something to rebel against together hey. like what um 
fashion, uh, big budget remakes of foreign films. Like, let's do that. <laughs> Reading subtitles isn't even that hard. I think we just have to strive as a society to be okay with reading subtitles. I think that looks good. I, I won't even lie. Like, I just watched the movie uh, Death Note that was on Netflix. It was pretty god awful. I mean, that's just my opinion. I th like, it was, yeah, just you can see it for yourself. He and I laugh. We keep digging into our big plates of greasy dinner food, the or diner food. The breakfast I ordered for a di dinner is absolutely hitting hey. the spot. Man, hey, being a sing, hey dude, he's yeah, he's getting real close and intimate with me. Being a single dad is rough sometimes. It's a lonely feeling. I understand that all too well. I mean, at least we have the rest of the dads to hey. talk to. Yeah, I just I don't know. Mm. I get I really nervous sometimes talking to people. Matt gets nervous talking to people, but he's so cool. Me too. I never really considered myself an extrovert and never really considered myself an introvert. I'm just uncomfortable in every situation, always. Ah, you're fine. You're actually really easy to talk to. You, you know that? Th thank you. You're easy to talk to, too, Matt. I like you. I smile. Matt and I spend the rest of the night trading daughter stories. Turns out our kids are a lot alike. We finish up our late night dinners and head out. We walk back to the cul-de-sac, back to our respective houses. Tonight was a blast, man. Loved it, although I'm probably going to feel it in my knees in the morning. That that motion uh, can do the, the works on you. <laughs> ha! You and me both. I uh, don't usually like going to these things alone. It was really cool to have you there with me. I'm glad. All right, I'm calling the quits for the night. Stay cool, man. Stay cool, my man. He called me cool. Oh, oh geez, that was so sweet of him. Matt, ca Matt called me cool. <laughs> Matt called me cool. I walk into the house with my heart in my throat. Amanda pops her head out from her room. Mm. Hey, Pop, how was the show? Matt thinks I'm cool. Mm. <laughs> you don't say. Manda Panda, Matt thinks I'm cool. Blind leading the blind, huh? Well, I just got dunked on by my own child. Unbelievable. Hey, hold up, son. I I'm cool. If he says I'm cool, he's, he's, he's got to be cool, right? Hey, Amanda, reminds me uh, which one of us just tore it up in the pit at a punk show and which one of us just spent four hours probably watching Tiny House Hunting Amish Triplets Extreme Edition. First of all, how dare you? That show is classic. Second of all, you moshed in the pit? Who even are you? I am your extremely cool dad. All right, I'm in the hay, Pops. I'll see you in the pit. Night, kiddo. Is that, is, is that it of the date? Did the date go well? Date complete? Ooh! Yes, we're getting all the points, the dad points, the daddy points, our total score. What is it? A B? Could use a trombone, though. Ah! Uh, Matt, what happened? I thought it went amazing. What? Come on, man. Welcome. You've got that. <sighs> well, anyway, that's the end of the day. And I guess you know what this means. This is going to be the end of the video for a dad. Wait, dream daddy, a dad dating simulator. I about said it completely opposite around. But next video, we are going to jump in and go into a next day. I don't know which one I'll do. I just have to see whatever, uh, you know, however I feel. If you want to comment down below which uh, one you want to, you want, which dad you want me to date, if I can talk correctly, just say down right down below and then we'll see which one happens or what happens and yeah it's all the good stuff but anyway if you did like this video make sure to like so subscribe comment right down below but i think this is going to be a peace peace out. peace 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 i cannot talk right now peace peace out for me so see you later everybody and you know what this means i'm gonna do the sweet roll if i can get untangled from my headset Whoa. yeah yeah oh yeah you know what An another <laughs> Sweet bro, I don't know. Let's do it. But anyway, see you everybody and love you so much and I shall talk to you later and come back to the next video. It's gonna be good. Yeah, I'm like right over here just chilling. So see you everybody.